Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Butte Community Center or Community Ice Center for the second game. Actually, the first game, but by paper, the second game of the DJs, the third annual DJ Automotive Cup with all the America West Hockey League teams. If you're just joining us, uh, my name is Mike Butters. I'm the commissioner of the America West Hockey League, and uh, we had a little shuffling going on today. We had to move the game, all the games today, which uh, the tournament's supposed to be played at the Helen Ice Arena. Some ice problems there. Those in the Helen area know, but those in Bozeman and Glacier listening in or watching today may not know. Uh, uh, kind of a weird year in the America West Hockey League. Three teams without ice throughout their entire training camp, the Helena Bighorns being one of them. Uh, some compressor problems on fire up, and uh, there was all three new compressors installed. And it's just a race against the clock this week. We had a tireless group of uh, staff members that tried to get the ice going for today's game. We uh, played almost half the game between the, between the Missoula Maulers and the Great Falls Americans. That game was knotted at one with 14 minutes left to play in the second, but a lot of ice problems, and it was felt in the best interest of the players and the safety that we, uh, we give the ice more time to set. And we've done that, so we've moved day one here of the DJ Automotive Cup to Butte. The city of Butte, kind enough to rent us their ice facility for today's games. We've got three games on tap. The first one, of course, the Glacier Nationals are facing off against the Bozeman Ice Dogs. Coming up following that game, we'll have, uh, as the guys take to the ice now, we've got a 6 o'clock game featuring the Billings Bulls and the Yellowstone Quake, and then the finale tonight at 9 p.m. will be the Gillette Wild against the Helena Bighorns. So tonight, or right now, this afternoon, we've got the Nationals set to face off against the Ice Dogs. Nationals playing a hybrid schedule this year in the America West Hockey League, playing 20 games in the A-Dub, as we like to call it, and 20 games in the NORPAC. So uh, early chance to see the Nationals. They won't be really taking part in many uh, regular season games until the latter part of the season when the travel gets rough on the roads. And it was solely designed to help uh, both leagues out as far as their travel costs, as well as the Nationals who uh, are playing in NORPAC this year. They will partake in the playoffs for NORPAC. Their, their standings will count uh, in the NORPAC Hockey League, will not count in the America West Hockey League, although the team's playing Glacier, those standings will count. So every game matters this season. 48 games on tap for the season, and then this tournament, of course, features all eight teams in the A-Dub. And uh, both teams taken to the ice now, so... Some early looks at a lot of guys. Uh, Glacier with a, a much bolstered roster from last season. They've got a lot of veterans in their lineup. And it looks to me like uh, in goal for them tonight. I don't know if they have the, ro the pro proper numbers on these guys. We'll check that out for a second. Good enough to see them have their last names on the uh, returning players. So bear with me here as I get to know the players and their numbers. I'll do my best job to, to give you the play-by-play -play action. Want to spend a, uh, send a special thanks. Oh, before we get going, too, uh, my cell phone number, I'm going to give that to you listening at home. If you have any comments, questions, want to send out a, a hi to some of the players, uh, it's 818-800-9700. If it's, uh, the sound is too soft, too loud, something's not working in the camera department, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, the guys at AWHL TV, just a bang-up job today moving the games from Helena to Butte for this afternoon. And uh, a lot of scrambling going on, but the guys at AWTV TV just did a tremendous job to get that going. So our thanks to them, as well as the many staff members and volunteers that took time out of their day to make this thing happen. Um, everything had to be relocated from Butte. So we're set to face off here. Game two of DJ's Cup, we're underway. Givens faces off, he loses the draw to a Bozeman defenseman, dumped in, it's picked up there by Vitali. He throws it out to neutral ice where it's dumped in by Bozeman. Getting the start tonight for the Nationals, number 30, Dylan Caffrey. All the way from Mount, uh, Mount Juliet, Tennessee. As we see the play deep in the Glacier zone, it's backhanded out there. Too far for him. Bozeman defenseman picks it up as it goes wrapped around the net for Curtis. Curtis grabs it. He's got it back now. He circles deep. He's hit there hard, but he comes out with a quick shot on goal and just wide. As the Nationals come out with it, coming out with them is Tucker Spooner, one of their top players from last year. He moves over the blue line, takes a shot wide. Picked up their left side and dumped deep where it's regrouped by Bozeman. Up to center ice now, a little break for it, out to come and play it is Caffrey. 
It gets bobbled up in the neutral zone and the Nationals have to regroup. Thump back there for Vitali. Long shift here for Vitali. As he's looking to get off the ice and an errant pass goes all the way down into Bozeman territory. Picked up there by Jake Nix. Nix moves it up now for Brian. And he can't handle it, so it's back to Vitali. Vitali doing a Jacques Cousteau shift. He's got the air tanks on. He's been out there the whole time here with 18.43 left to go in the first. Puck now behind the Bozeman zone. It's thrown up uh, on your, I shouldn't say radio dial, but we're going right to left here. The Nationals go on the right. We're down in the far end zone here. Not a, not a, a no grandstand area to call the game, so... Tough to see some of the players at the far ice. Glacier keeps it in at the blue line, circling with it there is Kinder. He tries to dump it deep, but it's intercepted by Bozeman as they come out with speed. Takeaway there by a Glacier Nationals forward. That would be Johnstone as we see our first whistle of the contest. 18.07 to go in the first. Score nodded at zero. Glacier Nationals and the Bozeman Ice Dogs. In net for the Ice Dogs, number 33, Joey Roberts. Face off to his left. Face off won by the Dogs. It's chipped up to the half wall. We're picking it up there. His game, Jesse Game. Bozeman a little shy on players today. Uh, the Helena Bighorns loaning four players to the Ice Dogs for today's contest, which is, is great. Gives every uh, all the players an opportunity to play more hockey. And those guys willing and able participants to do that. Tomorrow, uh, Gillette will be sent loaning some players to the Ice Dogs. But uh, they're just a few players short. So three Bighorns lending a hand tonight or this afternoon for the Ice Dogs as they get it in their own zone. Aaron pass there to Milton. He bobbles it but manages to get control. Throws it up to half wall as the Ice Dogs come out of their own zone. Into Nationals territory. A fan shot there. And it's picked off by the Nationals and thrown out of play right into the Nationals bench where coach Joachim Fald almost gets one right in the family jewels. 17-13 left to go in the first, no score between the Ice Dogs and the Nationals. Again, those of you who are able to listen today and uh, want an update on the schedule, uh, games in Butte today, three, six, and nine, and then the regular schedule will continue tomorrow and the rest of the weekend at the Helena Ice Arena. We'll give you an update too as to the uh, Maulers and, and Great Falls game that was played almost halfway. Uh, we'll get with the coaches and decide what we're going to do with that one uh, because there are seedings in this tournament, so we'll have to make it fair for both sides to have an opportunity to play in that medal game. High stick, and he's waving it off. McPhee says no goal. High stick there by the Ice Dogs. Clearly a high stick. I believe it was uh, Jacob Bryan getting a piece of that, or it was uh, Curtis, one of the two. But a high stick, no goal, and the faceoff will go down deep into Bozeman territory to the right of Roberts. Set to face off here to the right of Roberts. Face off won by the Natties. Shot on goal goes wide by Johnson. And there's a battle for it now deep in Bozeman territory. High stick to the mouth, no call there. Just an accidental thing. I think McPhee missed it. And play continues where there's a weak shot on net there by Dodd. And that's scooped up by Roberts for the faceoff. Bozeman getting fresh troops out there. And again, my number, 818 800 9700. If you want to text in, if I'm pronouncing a name wrong, by all means, send me a text. Let me know any comments, questions about the league. Uh, that's what that number's for during our broadcast here all evening long. Bozeman now has it in neutralized territory. They gain it, dump it on, on the net. Bobbled there a little bit by Caffrey, but he manages to scoop it up for the whistle. Nationals make a wholesale change. Actually leaving their defensive pairing out there. Staying out there is Dodd. Face off one by the Natties. Battle aside there by Caffrey and it's wrapped around the half wall as it scoots out of the zone. Racing for it there is Kinder. He tries to poke it but not clear. And the Ice Dogs temporarily gain control. They move back to their own zen and set up. Ice 
little sloppy play here in the early going. Both teams trying to get their legs from out from, from under them. Uh, Glacier probably having the most pregame experience. They played three or four games already in the preseason up in the KIJHL. So they're a little road tested. This is the first test of the season for the Ice Dogs. As we see our first penalty coming up in the game. And it looks like we're going to see a hooking call against the... I believe it's going to be the Nationals. Uh, nope, Ice Dog player going in the box. I don't know if we have coincidentals. It looks like it's going against against the Dogs. So we're going to see our first National Power Play of the evening. Face off one by the Natty. Scooping up there is Dixon. Dixon shot on that. It's deflected wide. Bozeman grabs control and dump at the length of the ice where it's battled away there by Caffrey. Giving chase there is Spooner. He mishandles it. Bozeman picks it up. Quick chance. Shot on goal. Big save there. And that's going to do a good scoring opportunity there by the Ice Dogs. And... Uh, Number 25 for the Natties, Joe Dixon had no choice but to get his stick on, on the stick of number 21 for the, uh, for the Ice Dogs, causing the penalty. I believe 21 might be Jesse Game. I'm not sure. Oh, 21. Here it is, Jesse Game. So Game with a good opportunity there. And we're going to see teams play four on four. Good end to end of hockey coming up here, folks. We got our first two-on-one break of the game. Here comes Givens. He comes down. Throws it off, shot on goal, just wide of Roberts. Kept in by the Natties. Dixon throws it deep. Behind the goal, picking it up there is Dozenal. Dolezal, I'm sorry, Dolezal. It goes the length of the ice. Rink wide pass by Caffrey on the stick of one of the Natties. Number 21, Austin Givens. They bat at it, gets behind Roberts, but not in. And the Ice Dogs grab it and they're content just to throw it out to neutral zone. Giving chase there for the Dogs is Lanby. My bad, that was Curtis giving chase there. Breakaway here for the Natties. Quick shot on goal. Got a penalty coming up to the Dogs. Good opportunity there for the Natties. Walking in all alone. I got to get the number on the player, but all alone. And uh, one of the Ice Dogs hauled him down. So he's going to see some time. Two minutes. Feel some shame. And we're going to see another Nationals power play here, four on three. A lot of puck movement coming up here, folks, on the four on three. The Nationals over their uh, slotted 25 limit of players, so they're going to have to pare things down in a hurry to get to their roster size. And that's the purpose of this tournament is to make sure teams have an opportunity to see their players, the guys that are vying for jobs in games. And uh, all eyes are on them by the coaching staff. As Bozeman grabs it, throws it down the ice. No icing as the Nats are on the power play. Setting up behind his own goal is Travis Redman, the, the veteran player from Vancouver, Washington. Takes it out. He throws it up rink wide. Shot on goal is wide. Bozeman picks it up. Quick one-on-one. -on -one. And that one-on-one -on -one attempt is thwarted. Two natties on him to break it up. Natties grab control behind the net. Redman has it. He moves it out front for Vitali. Vitali comes down the left side now with a little bit of steam. He decides to go wide. Throws it out in front. Quick shot. And it just goes wide. Bozeman has it trapped against the net for the whistle. Tyler Rebel there on the receiving end of that one-on-one. -on -one. Good scoring opportunity for the Nationals. They probably lead opportunities right now. Bozeman having that one good opportunity by Jesse Game. The Natties with three or four good scoring opportunities in the early going here. As both an ice dog and natty come out of the box, we've got five on four for 14 seconds with the natties having the man advantage. Shot from the point, it goes off a pad, but right onto the stick of a Nationals player, moves it down deep. Walk out in front, quick jab, Roberts jabs at it. He gets, he gets some wood on it as it's thrown up and over the glass by the ice dogs. So the faceoff will remain in their zone, but the dogs are back to full strength. Five on five here with 13.20 to two to go in the first period. No score between the Glacier Nationals and the Bozeman Ice Dogs. We're going to have a couple special guests here too uh, during our period breaks. Uh, we're probably going to get uh, rope our referee in chief 
Trevor McLeod into uh, saying a few words about uh, the his new position with the league and uh, some of the uh, the awesome uh, equipment opportunities he has. Uh, quite the entrepreneur with Rocky Mountain Wholesale and uh, Mahler Hockey Central. We're going to talk to him about some of the programs he has lined up for the year for the America West Hockey League, in particular the players as far as their gear and, and sticks and, and, and things like that. He's uh, the proud official supplier of all the gear to the America West Hockey League, all the teams. So, Got my first text of the evening. Looks like we're sounding good from Mount Julian, Tennessee, and that can only mean one thing. That must be the parents of Dylan Caffrey. So thank you very much for listening in. Tennis, I had a road stop in Tennessee. I started my pro career in Knoxville for the Cherokees back about 150 years ago. Great town, very nice people there, and, and uh, some fond memories of Tennessee. So glad to see Caffrey made the jump to the America West Hockey League and uh, so far pitching an egg right now for the Nationals as they get it over center. Taking the shot on goal there was Kinder. It gets deflected by Dwight Roberts. 0-0 year score, 12-25 left to play in the first. Bozeman now has it behind their net, throws it out to neutral zone. Nationals defenseman uh, Dodd backs up and sets up now for the Nats. He moves it up left side to Watney. Watney, a veteran player, he lets a boomer goal that goes off the pads of Roberts. But the Natties gain control again. They throw it deep, decide to get some fresh troops out there as the Ice Dogs try and get out of their zone. A couple bounces away and they do. They got a quick little break here, two on one. Here come the Dogs. Little pass moved out in front, quick shot right in front. No one there as the Natties cleared out to the blue line, but a shot coming from the Bozeman Ice Dogs defenseman. Scooped up by them, they control a neutral ice right in front. Another save by Caffrey. Caffrey getting tested here in the middle stages of the first period as the Natties Get some breathing room and dump it out into neutralized territory. Ice Dogs control again. They back it back in. Back for it there for the Natties. Johnstone. He tries to chunk it off the wall, but no good. Picked up there. Behind the net by Watney. He wraps it around where Bozeman intercepts. Now it's picked up by Johnson for the Nats. He comes out to center ice, loses it, but getting it there is... Uh, geez, I wish I knew. They don't have a number four listed for the Natties. We'll have to get that information to you in the second period. Quick shot, turned aside there by Roberts, up and over play. Number four likely being one of the European tandem that the Nationals have brought in this year. Andreas Persson from Stockholm, Sweden, and Sebastian Adnell, uh, another player from Stockholm, joining the Natties. No surprise there, Joachim Falt, a uh, former Swede, or he's current Swede, but he's been living in the States a long time. A lot of connections over to that country, um, has had... Numerous Swedish players play for his clubs in the past, and uh, he's got two more again this year. Puck won by the net. He shot on goal. Looks like it went up and over play. No deflection there unless it was by a Natties, but the faceoff is going to go outside the zone. 11.25 to go here in the first. No score between the Dogs and the Natties. Jackson Schroeder taking the draw. He wins it back to Dixon. Dixon throws it all the way in. Icing waved off. Giving chase for there is, uh, is Schroeder. Schroeder gives chase. He throws it in front. Quick save by Roberts. Puck goes into the Bozeman corner. Both teams battling for it there. Ice Dogs win that battle, but turn it over. And regain control again. Take their time now coming to their own zone. They get it up to neutral ice. Big hit there by the by two Ice Dog players. The second one coming at the end of, uh, of that shift was uh, Jesse Game. Big shot on there by Roberts. He can't play it. Whistle goes anyway. I think the ref was anticipating a cover up there, so trying to do its best for the safety of the game and blowing that one down. A lot of times you see that. You watch a game live. You see sometimes uh, a goalie will mishandle the puck. You'll see or hear a whistle. Um, it's not meant for any other reason than uh, the, the referee either lost sight of the puck or, uh, or uh, they just want to make sure that there's no pushing and shoving and then stick work around the goalies. Face-off won by the Dogs as they take it out of their own zone now. Coming out of it is Kurtfus. Kurtfus, I'm sorry. <clears throat> A little slow on the name to players here, guys. I'm standing in the corner at ice level, don't have an elevated view, so a little tough to 
see the players standing at one corner of the ice. So, uh, Ice Dog fans, I apologize to you. We'll see a lot of your guys in the second period. I'll get to those names. The Ice Dogs do have it in neutral ice territory. They turn it over. Spooner has it now at center. He wingles and dangles, and he just uh, flips it onto the stick of a Bozeman player who dumps it all the way out, giving chase. We're the Ice Dogs, but uh, Caffrey comes out, plays the puck out of the zone, gives his team a little breathing room. Natties have it now in Bozeman territory. Nice little one-on-one -on -one move there. Thrown out in front. A lot of traffic, but the Ice Dogs come out with it. They come with steam. However, we're going to see a penalty come up to the Ice Dogs as we have our first official timeout. We have a roughing penalty going to the Ice Dogs. Spooner driving the net hard there, and he was, uh, he was taken down by Byron, or sorry, Brian, Jake Bryan. So another chance for the Natties here. With 9.45 left to go in the first, no score between the Ice Dogs and the Nationals. Team's still a little confused on the timeouts. There is a 10 minute timeout, official timeout during every A-Dub game. Last year, a 10 minute timeout and a five minute timeout. Uh, I gotta go check my notes from our meeting, but I think we, uh, we eliminated the five minute timeout except for Helena. I know the, the folks in Helena, being one of them, we run a lot of promotions during those times and we want to pay tribute to our sponsors, as do other teams, so that we take an official timeout, gives the players a chance to regroup with their coach, get some strategy. It also gives us a time to pay some bills. And the many corporate partners that we have throughout the America West Hockey League with all our member clubs, uh, very much appreciated your support there. And if, if you're not one, make sure you make a call to one. If you have a business, obviously we're always looking for for support for the league, uh, to enhance the league, enhance the players. Uh, last year, our restart or re reemergence of the America West Hockey League. For those of you that are history buffs, the America West Hockey League was founded way back in 97, went all the way through to 2004, took a break as they merged with the North American Hockey League. The teams in the Montana area continued on in the Northern Pacific Hockey League and then uh, restarted the America West Hockey League last year. Uh, very successful, having three teams going to Nationals, and one of those teams, actually the number three seed, the Bill Billings Bulls, making it all the way to the Final Four, but all three teams with respectable showing at the Nationals. As we get set to face off here, five on three, so Bozeman taking the extra two minutes here. It looks like they've got four players on. And we got a goal, we got our first goal of the game. Sorry guys, I missed that one, but the Nationals pouncing quickly on the five on three opportunity. For those of you watching at home too, you can go to Point Street. Oh, actually, I, I beg your pardon, I spoke too soon. We talked with the Techs at Point Street. They were not ready to go live last game. I believe this game is live. So you can go to pointstreak.com, go to the awhl.com, check out Point Streak stats. You can get the game, go to game live, and you can get the stats as we have them. Uh, we don't have the luxury of having someone run over the scoring to me, so we'll get a, ch we'll get a chance to, to look at that goal momentarily. Puck flicked in by the Nationals. They lead 1-0. Delayed offside. As I take a quick look here at point streak, just to see if we've got the game. We're going to bring that face off all the way to the right of Caffrey with 9.32 to go. Teams at full strength. Face off one by the Dogs, but picked off there by Wat Watney. And bringing it out are the Nationals. They get up and over center. Rosecrantz has it, he takes a shot on net. Easily played there by Roberts. It hits him right in the pizza, he gets a glove on it. And we are live. We are live on Point Streak, uh, everybody. So if you do want to check the ADUB site, actually if you're watching the game, <laughs> Michael Burks just texted me. If, if you're watching the game, you can actually see it above the screen where you're watching the game. You'll have the live score up there. But uh, that first goal coming from Dustin Parman, from Paul Kinder and Kyle Watney at the 10-18 mark to put the Natties up 1-0. So you can actually go to the game live screen from the video screen. You just run your mouse over the box score and click on game live. Just hover the mouse over the yellow game score and you can see all the up-to-date happenings as Bozeman gets a puck shot. Big save there by Caffrey. 
Thought that went through the wickets, but Caffrey squeezed his legs together. Big save there to keep the Natties up 1-0 with 8.50 left to go in the first. Deep, both teams battle for it here now to the left to Caffrey. Picking it up there to the Dogs, but he dumps it back. Picked off there by Redmond for the Natties. He reverses it over to Dixon. Dixon takes it up the far side. He moves it up the half wall. Dumped out there by Plitt. Plitt dumps it the length of the ice. We've got a race for it. But an icing call against the Natty, so the puck's going to come back into their zone. For those of you uh, who, who are unfamiliar with the icing rule, the modified icing rule, it's a foot race. Now there isn't automatic touch, touch icing. There isn't touch icing or an automatic icing. If the player on the, up, on the defensive side has, a, has an advantage by the top of the circle, if he's ahead of the other player in the race for the puck, then icing will be called. If not... They will wave it off and let the teams battle for it in a 50-50 position or better. As play continues to the right of Caffrey. Again, a lot of digging and battling going along along the boards. Bozeman picks it up in front. Hammered there. Redman, real physical player taking the body there and clearing things up for his Nationals as they gain control. Nice toe drag there. Moved in, shot just wide. Shooting it there was Cody Johnson. Nice little toe drag move there. And he got it just to the wide mark of Roberts. He decides to dump it in and get a change. Get some fresh troops out there for the Natties. Bozeman regroups behind their own net. Getting it there is Tyler Rebel. Rebel moves it up. Rebel. But it's kept in by the Natties. Natties pick it up. A lot of sloppy play here, and this isn't anything against the players. It's just early in the season. You're going to see that. Teams get to know each other. Teammates get to know how their, how their teammates play with them, where they go. Uh, communication is the key there, and I'm sure that's what both coaches, Steve Harrison and Joachim Fald, are telling their troops now. Because that will make up for a lot of that, that sloppy play is, is just to communicate with each other. But the early going here, a lot of pucks changing hands a lot of times. Pucks moved out in front. We've got a penalty coming up to the Dogs as the Nationals have a good scoring opportunity thwarted, but it looks like a tripping call coming up to the Ice Dogs. We'll get the number for you in a second. Again, the DJ's Automotive Cup moved to Butte today. We had some ice problems at the Helen Ice Arena, so the games moved today to Butte, the Community Ice Center, nice enough to host the event today. Everything will resume tomorrow back in Helena, same, same schedule. Um, we're offering... Uh, Folks in the area that want to come watch the games because of the, the inconvenience of moving the venue, uh, today's game, is all the games today are brought to you absolutely free. So if you can make it down <coughs> to the Butte Community Ice Center, come on down and check out some great, hard-hitting, fast-paced American Hockey League action. <coughs> Nationals have in their own zone, picked off there by an ice dog. But the Natties gain control again. It goes behind their net. Caffrey directing traffic as he Watney goes back for it now. Giving chase on him is ben Benavides. Benavides, nice play on him, but Watney gets control. It moves up to center to Spooner. Spooner comes over the blue line into ice dog territory. Throws it across for Watney. Watney, weak shot on goal. Let's block it down by Roberts. Rebound, picked up. He makes a nice save. Another shot in front. And Roberts doing a nice job of getting out of the way of that one to let the puck go out into neutral zone territory where the Natties regroup with it. Going back with it there is Spooner. He throws it cross ice up to center. The cut, Cutshaw. Cutshaw gets it deep and gives chase where Nice Dog picks his pocket there. Picking his pocket was, uh, looks like T. Dozen, Doz, Doz, Dolizel. Sorry, folks, I'll get the pronunciations correct. And, just text him to me. Mason. Now for the Natties, coming up with it is Dixon. He moves it up. He get, gets the puck back. Nice move by him. Center. He tries to dump it. It doesn't go all the way in. And picking up there for the Dogs is uh, Colt Milton. Milton throws it back into Nationals territory where the Natties regroup now at neutral ice. Here they come. Rosecrans has it over the blue line. Nice poke check there by a nice dog player. Rosecrans teed it up. Got to stick a little too high. Couldn't get the shot on that. And a goal! Big shot there by Dixon. Dixon hammers one from the blue line to put the Natties up two to nothing. Broken play there in the neutral ice, right in the middle of Roberts. Puck squirts out to Dixon, and he lets a howitzer fly from just inside the blue line. I'm sorry, that was Vitali. My bad. Brandon Vitali lets a hammer go from the blue line to give the Natties a two nothing lead. We'll get the assist here in a moment, but if you are tuned in, you can just see it live with those directions I gave you.
So 2 nothing for the Natties. First period, 5.22 left to play, and they have control in their own zone. Up now into neutralized territory, picked off there by the Dogs. Dogs now have a two-on-one break. Shot on goal, he gets tipped up high, tipping it there. Was Vitali? Vitali very involved early in this game, putting the Natties up 2 nothing. Seeing a lot of ice time in the early going. I think the first two, two and a half minutes of the game, he didn't come off the ice. So, Coach Fault electing to go with uh, Vitali for a lot of his defensive duties so far in this early going. Ice Dogs win the draw. It's dumped in there. Picking it up there is Mannery. Mannery, another player on loan from the Bighorns. Chance to see some game action here. And the Bighorn coaching staff, of course, on hand to, to watch his progress as the Natties have it now neutral ice. Ice Dogs pick it up, scooping it around his own net is Mannery. He tries to chip it out, but not all the way. Kept in by the Natties. They're content just to flip it in on the delayed offside, but the Ice Dogs get it again, move it out, giving chase. Is Mannery again. He comes down, quick shot. Actually, that's Mason Wade, 25. Mason Wade, another Bighorn player on loan to the Ice Dogs. Big hit there. But the dogs can't keep it in. It gets dumped all the way down where <clears throat> Caffrey picks it up, leaves it there behind his net for, for Dixon. Now neutral ice. Schroeder has it. He dumps it all the way down as the Natties get wholesale changes. Picking it up there for the dogs is Nix. Nix moves it up to half wall where a nice dog has it, but not couldn't move it out. A lot of scrambly play here in the early going, but the dogs finally do get it out to neutral ice territory. Picked off there by the Nats. Tried to dump in. Ice Dogs again gain control. This time it is Bryant. Spooner has it now for the Natties. He tries to get it out and does to neutralize territory. But the Dogs pick it off there. And again, coming up with it are the Natties setting up in their zone. Tanner Dodd moves it across to Watney. Watney tries to clear it but can't get it out as the Ice Dogs give chase. Watney again has it. And we're going to see a penalty coming up, a holding call to the Natties. Neutral ice call as we're taking our five-minute timeout. So a holding call. Not sure who the guilty party is. We'll know in a minute. It looks like it's number 18, Tanner Dodd. He's going to see the sin bin for two minutes for the hold. So a little scrambly play there in the neutral zone, right inside the blue line. And a holding call to Dodd. We'll see the Bozeman Ice Dogs on the power play. So the Ice Dogs are being commandeered this year by Steve Harrison, first year in the America West Hockey League. A great pickup for the Ice Dogs. Steve Harrison had coaching experience in <coughs> professional ranks in the East Coast Hockey League. Uh, he also coached in the Ontario Hockey League. And um, no stranger to the pro game, uh, Steve, Steve played numerous years in the American Hockey League, the International Hockey League, and had a... Had some games with the New York Rangers, so a wealth of experience on the uh, Bozeman Ice Dogs bench. And he got started late this summer. Uh, the Ice Dogs, I think July 23rd was the actual date of completion uh, when the ink dried on his deal. So Steve uh, playing a little catch up here, bringing in the troops that he wants to see guide the Ice Dogs through the upcoming season. And, and uh, the early stages for, uh, looks like he's got a pretty good club together. A couple, you know, came up a little short on two shots right now, but there's lots of hockey left to play. And they're going to get their chance here with a two-minute power play, courtesy of the Natties and Tanner Dodd. Ice Dogs win the draw. It goes all the way back to the point. Kept in there. Ice Dog takes a shot. A lot of deflection there. Caffrey managed to see that puck. Good shot on goal, just getting it on net. There was uh, T. D T. Dolezal. Um, not a hard shot, but defensemen, you know, you young guys might be listening at home. It doesn't have to be hard. Just get those pucks on net. You never know what's going to happen with traffic there. And Caffrey was Johnny on the spot. He managed to see through that traffic and pick it up. Puck won by the net. He's brought behind the net by, by Kinder. And it comes out where the Natties have it now. Playing with four guys, playing short right now with the Ice Dogs on the power play. We're controlling it until Bozeman just picked it up and regrouped behind their net. Nice outlet pass in the middle of the ice. A little puck movement here by the Dogs. Dumped in where Caffrey turns it aside. And cleared the length of the ice for the uh, for the uh, Vitali. You're hearing his name a lot as he regroups with it in his own zone. Circles back, killing the clock here for the Nationals. And he slaps it all the way down the ice. 
mishandling it there was Milton, but the Ice Dogs will get control. 103 left in the power play for the Dogs. 2.33 left in the first period. Nationals lead by a score of 2 to nothing. Nationals have control now. Dumped into neutral ice territory for them was Plitt. The Ice Dogs have it now in Nationals territory. Turnover there, a little miscommunication where Givens picks it up and he fires it down the length of the ice. With 43 seconds left to play on the Ice Dogs power play and we're approaching the two minute mark in the first period. Ice Dogs now have it by the nice hip check there. Just getting a piece of his man was Dixon, big physical defenseman for the Natties. They've got him listed at 5'6", 160. I think we've got a typo here because Dixon easily towers over six foot. He's probably approaching the two bills, 200, 200 pound mark. Big physical player for the Natties. Ice Dogs win the draw, poke it ahead. Picking it up there on top of the net. Not sure where this faceoff's gonna lie. Caffrey doing a good job of just controlling the puck on the net and the faceoff will stay inside the national zone. 23 seconds left to play in the power play. Sorry, 23 seconds left in the power play. 154 to go here in the first. Nationals lead by a score of two nothing. Faceoff to the left of Caffrey, won by the Ice Dogs. It's poked back now to the point. Small shot right out in front. Caffrey has it, he pokes it free for Watney. Oh, sorry, Kinder. Kinder dumps it down, stopped by Roberts. Roberts clears it to the side. Quickly, I might add. Where Stover picks it up there for the, the Ice Dogs. Ice Dogs now breaking out of the zone. Pass a little too far for the intended receiver. It goes the length of the ice. Icing as the penalty to Dodd expires for the Nationals. So for the last minute and 29, both teams will be skating, barring any penalties, at full strength. A lot of variety here on the Nationals roster. We've got Michigan, Texas, Colorado, Alaska, Wyoming, Sweden, uh, Idaho, Tennessee. Actually, we've got two Tennessee players here. We've also got John Walker, Jonathan Walker, the 93-born player, also from Mount Juliet. So my apologies. Maybe you were the ones that sent me the text. But in any event, we got you, we got you recognized in Tennessee. Happy you're here tuning in today to watch the action with the Nationals and, uh, and the Ice Dogs. <clears throat> so the Natties will play three or four games in the American West Hockey League to start the season. Then they make their trip over to Norpak for the meet of the middle of the season. Then they'll finish up the last eight weeks with America West Hockey League's games. As they get a quick shot on Roberts, turned aside, picked up there by the Ice Dogs. Approaching the one minute mark now, one minute to play in the first period with the Natties leading 2-0. Ice Dogs go back to get it there. Nix gets it, but he was hammered. Moved out in front, shot over the shoulder of Roberts. It goes behind the net again where both teams give chase. Coming up with it there. Again, number five is not listed in the program, a late addition. I'm assuming it's one of the Swede players, but we'll get, we'll get to that at the end of the period. 48 seconds left to go. Natties control. Neutralized territory. Cross ice there for five. I don't want to speculate, but with hands like that, he's got to be a sweet. Good hands by number five. Now the Ice Dogs have it. One-on-one -on -one break here. Picking up there for the Dogs is Landby. Landby gets upended, and the Natties gain control. Big hit down deep there. Kerfis, one of the more prominent Ice Dog players this period, as the Natties have a shot on goal, but offside. Good opportunity there for Spooner. So 12 seconds left here in the first. Face off outside, neutralized territory. Ice Dogs and Natty's. Actually, they're going to bring it back into Natty's territory to the left of, of, uh, of Caffrey. So maybe a scoring opportunity here for the Dogs. As they win the puck back, shot on goal, it gets tipped and out of the zone. As picking it up there was Dolezal. Dolezal has it now, he moves it up over the line. He's got it, oh, at the end, nice little move by Dolezal, but the clock has expired. 
So that's going to wrap up things in the first period. Uh, score at the end of one. Glacier Nationals two. Bozeman Ice Dogs no score. Lots of hockey. We're going to take a quick break here. Grab a sandwich. Grab something to drink. Uh, we'll be back with the play-by-play in the second period here in about 10 to 15, 10, 12 minutes. Not 15 minutes. <laughs> 